And new research from the CDC has found that there is little evidence that opened schools contributes to COVID-19 spread in the community. Now today we talked with superintendents from two local school districts about how they have managed to go the entire school year so far with in-person learning. Now today we chatted with the superintendents at Gillett where they have zero active cases of COVID right now and Brilliant which has just one active case about how they have fared getting through the school year thus far and both superintendents say it's in part because they enforce a masking policy. They try to ensure there is social distancing in the classrooms and they limit the amount of interaction students have with their peers from other classrooms. We're not being um, passe about it. We know that it might be something that we might have to go um, in a virtual environment, um, but right now our numbers are, are far lower than they've ever been. If you put the right procedures in place and if you have the right mitigation strategies in place, you can you can minimize this. You can minimize the the uh, the impact. And while it will likely be sometime in March before Green Bay lets kids back into the classroom, today the CDC says schools may be capable of opening for in-person learning with minimal transmission of the virus within school walls. That is, if school leaders enact proper protocols to keep the virus at bay. In Green Bay, Eric Crest, NBC 26.